Hey everyone, it's Desi Chang, and right now I'm filming on the brand new Fujifilm X-T4 um, handheld with IBIS and IBIS Boost. Uh, anyways, so if you kind of want to follow my kind of journey as a photographer and see some of the photos I'm taking with this camera, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Desi31. And in this video, I'm hopefully going to help you decide if upgrading from the X-T3 is right for you. Uh, and I'm also going to be doing a quick comparison with the Canon EOS R as well as the Sony a7 III. So quick note about this is that I purchase everything myself. Uh, I'm not being paid or sponsored by anyone to say anything. Uh, these are just my own thoughts and opinions. And uh, also I'm not gonna go through every single feature in depth. I'm just gonna go through the features that matter to me the most and my shooting style. So quickly, before we jump in, I just wanted to point out a few things. So originally the X-T3 shipped with this small, tiny little flash. Um, I actually never ever used it once in my entire life and the X-T4 does not ship with it. So the omissions of it really makes no difference. Uh, the second thing, as you may or may not know, the X-T4 does not have a dedicated headphone jack. Instead, it has a USB port and it comes with this stupid adapter. I hate this because most likely I'm going to lose this. Um, and finally, the other thing that I didn't like about the X-T4 um, was that instead of coming with a regular battery charger, so you can buy many additional uh, batteries on the go and charge them while you're shooting, they uh, only came with a USB cable and a, uh, a wall charger. So you have to charge your battery in camera. So it kind of forces you to buy another charger um, if you're gonna be purchasing additional batteries and things like that. So let's first start talking about the X-T3 versus the X-T4. Um, so if you're gonna be looking for any kind of image quality difference, there's no difference. Whether you're taking photos or video, it's essentially the same sensor. As for autofocus, I think it is a big, huge improvement over the X-T3. I found that the X-T3 was just a little bit slow and sluggish, but it still, you know, got the job done. Uh, but the X-T4 was very, very fast and snappy, and I actually quite enjoyed it and actually made the entire shooting experience more fun. The big difference though is video features. So first of all, there is a beautiful articulating screen on the X-T4, um, that's the biggest thing. Uh, and then the second biggest thing is that it has in-body stabilization uh, and also has in-body stabilization boost mode which enhances it just a little bit more. Another big feature is that it has a bigger battery so you can shoot longer when you're shooting video. And the final feature that I really enjoy is the F-Log assist mode. Uh, because it, it applies a lot to it so you can um, see your white balance and also your exposure better and uh, I know that a lot of people you know they like shooting a turn up profile and to be honest I just find it doesn't have enough dynamic range and so for when I'm shooting with Fujifilm I'm shooting f-log the entire time. So I'm gonna compare the X-T4 now versus the uh, Sony a7 III as well as the Canon EOS R. I chose those cameras because they are in a similar price point category. It's only a few hundred dollars more for a full frame, uh, but I feel like the uh, X-T4 is, you know, right neck to neck with it. I didn't include the Nikon Z6 in there just because I just don't have it. I haven't had much uh, of a chance to play with it. So first up, let's talk about the Sony a7 III. So full frame camera and um, you know, it's going to be better in terms of low light and autofocus and eye detect. Um, this camera is gonna be better for that. Uh, image quality, I feel like it's just a notch above, but again, uh, it's Fujifilm is you know very, very close to it. So now let's talk about the pros of the X-T4 over the a7 III. Uh, first off, it has a nicer LCD and more so it has an articulating screen, whereas the Sony a7 III cannot. Um, the other thing is it has an IBIS, an IBIS boost, and even without the IBIS boost, the regular IBIS and the X-T4 is much better than the uh, a7 III. Um, other features is it has 10-bit video recording, 10-bit uh, 4K 60p, this one only does 24p, um, and also it can go up to 400 megabits a second at 4K 24p or 4K 60p, whereas this one I feel like I think it just tops out at 200 megabits a second, I think. 
So right now I have the X-T4 set on continuous autofocus uh, with face and eye detect tracking. So I'm gonna see how fast it can pick up my face when I move out of frame or I spin around in a circle. So if I move out of frame, it's gonna get the background, hopefully, and then it's gonna get me in focus. I'm gonna spin around and back. I'm gonna walk backwards and forwards. And yeah, I mean, I feel like, I mean, based on looking at the screen, uh, the Fujifilm has done a pretty good job. So now let's talk about how the X-T4 compares to the Canon EOS R. So I've been shooting Canon for like almost 10 years now and I have all the lenses and everything. And when the Canon EOS R first came out, I jumped on the bandwagon. And over the past year and a half, I've been using it as my primary camera. And I have to say, I absolutely love it. And I can't wait to the new EOS R5 until that comes out. Now, uh, the X-T4, is the image quality as good as the EOS R or Canon 5D or anything like that? I don't think so. Uh, but it does come close to a point that I feel like over 90% of the people that look at the photos won't even notice a difference of what camera or lens that you're using. Um, and the one thing is, you know, I bought into the EOS R system because, oh, you know, it's mirrorless, it's smaller, but to be honest, it's actually the opposite. You know, when you couple it like with this, the new 50 mil RF lens, uh, this entire combination is actually much heavier than a 5D4 with the original 50 mil 1.2. Uh, everything is just getting heavier. So, uh, you know, when you're talking about in terms of photo quality, I feel like you're not, you're, you're sacrificing very, very little by going to an X-T4 in terms of image quality, but you save literally like almost half the weight and size um, of stuff that you could be carrying around. Um, the LCD screen, I would say it is more vibrant and bright, and I feel like Canon has a better LCD screen uh, in general. But I feel like with um, autofocus and tracking subjects in video, um, I'm gonna have to say that working so far, you know, between the two cameras, Canon is a little bit better. Not by a lot, but a little bit better. So overall, I think Fujifilm has done a fantastic job with the X-T4, and I would highly recommend you guys either upgrading it, switching, or just buying it if you're just a new to photography. Um, with all the features, such as an improved autofocus, uh, a flip LCD screen, a bigger battery, in-body stabilization, uh, 4K 60p, 10-bit, um, essentially it is a dream camera. It is unfortunate that, you know, they lost the um, headphone jack and it's not full frame though, but I feel like it is so close to full frame that most people won't care. Um, anyways, if you like this review and you want to see me do more of these, like and subscribe and definitely don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Desi31.